Hey guys, welcome to the weekend reading. Uh, my name is Johanna. Welcome to Tenacious Soul. So this is going to be for uh, April 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. Um, yeah, so we're just basically going to check in, see what the energy is like this weekend for you guys. Um, I'm going to go all the way from Aries to Pisces, so timestamps will be down below. Um, yeah, first weekend of April, kind of crazy. I don't know where the past three months have gone. I feel like they've gone by super quick. Um, and yeah, it's Easter this weekend, so happy Easter if you guys celebrate. If not, happy weekend. <laughs> so um, yeah, let's dive on in here. Let's see kind of what's coming up for everyone. Uh, April readings are already posted for each sign um, as well. Monthlies are up tomorrow. A pick a card will come out as well. Uh, I'm basically going to choose one of the pick a card options from the poll that I did last week. So we'll do like kind of the second place uh, runner up um, for this week. So uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty much it. So let's see where we go. We'll start with Aries. Uh, like I said, we'll go all the way to Pisces and timestamps will be down below in the description box and in the um, comment section. Okay. So Aries, let's see what is going on for you guys this weekend. Okay. We got two for you guys. We got two fives. So one says conflict and defeat and the other one says obstacles and challenges. So there might be some sort of like obstacle or challenge that um, you guys are kind of feeling like, you know, you're not you're not able to get over. Like there's a, I feel like you've, you're feeling more defeated by the challenge than you are kind of like overcoming it. Yeah, five of swords. I feel like this is bringing in big change for you guys though. Because we have three fives now and fives in, uh, you know, tarot, numerology, that sort of thing. They indicate kind of like change, big changes. Yeah, we have judgment. And the hermit. I feel like there's a decision here that um, is challenging for you to make. You're needing to kind of like go within here. I feel like you're kind of almost like wavering. What is this what is this challenge or this conflict here for Aries? What is this challenge or conflict here for Aries this weekend? And the energies, it is only a couple days, right? So the energies can kind of last a little bit longer than just the weekend, but what is this five of swords here? We have the sun and the emperor. There's like a struggle to choose your happiness. If some of you are like, some of you may need to, may feel like if you're in charge of something, it's like you have to sacrifice your happiness. What's this judgment? 10 of cups, eight of cups. Yeah, it's like you have to walk away from something that is good why do you have to walk away from it so some of you it's a relationship someone may be resisting this relationship like maybe there there could be somebody here like maybe i don't know maybe there's some sort of like rejection or somebody starts resisting this connection between you and another person Yeah, like it's almost like, yeah, literally like someone comes towards another person and the other person like moves on. It's definitely a relationship here. Somebody leaves after giving a love offer or after some sort of love offer is um, proposed. Yeah, Ten of Swords. What's this hermit? Some of you are going to have to heal after this. I don't know if this is you leaving somebody behind and like 
creating happiness for yourself because it means it means better like six of swords is like moving to calmer waters so i feel like regardless you're it's gonna work out for you it just might feel kind of shitty some of you are, are are the ones doing the leaving yeah some of you are like healing and needing to kind of like start over I don't know. I feel like I feel like for some of you you've been going through this for a while. And it's like now the final judgment call is being made possibly this weekend or just like in around this time period. We did also just have the full moon, so it could have happened around the full moon and we're kind of in that full moon energy for the week. So like from the 28th on so we're kind of just finishing up that aspect. So maybe there was just like some conflict or drama this week. Kind of this like challenging times that you guys have been going through. But it's like two people going in different directions. I do see a new start here happening. What's the advice for Aries? Let's see advice for Aries this weekend. For some of you, it was you who, um, who's moved away from this person. Like you chose your own happiness. So we have the Queen of Cups here for your advice. Have love and compassion for this situation, this person. Listen to your intuition as well if you're the one making the choice. Yeah, nine of wands, seven of swords, the world. Some of you, it's like hiding your feelings, like not fully expressing yourself. So I feel like your advice is to express yourself, like don't hold it all in. Um, express your emotions, I feel like is more of your, um, your advice because if you don't with this nine of wands, it's like you could take this with you or carry this with you forward. So interesting message. I do feel like someone is moving forward here without another person. It's like you're moving in your separate ways. But again, I feel like it's kind of been going on for a little while. So let's move on to Taurus. What does Taurus need to know for the weekend? Discontent and boredom. So this is like the Four of Cups. So the Ten of Wands. What's with this energy? People are kind of blah. Let's see. What else does Taurus need to know for the weekend? King of Pentacles, there you are. Let's get one more here. Page of Pentacles, the Fool, Six of Cups. So some of you are breaking free of a situation. Um, could be a relationship as well. Like some of you could be coming into a new relationship because we have the King of Pen or the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. King of Pentacles is already out. I feel like there's a situation, some of you are like wanting to move towards a soulmate here with the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Cups, and the Fool. You're wanting to move into a direction of a new connection, trying to find possibly your soulmate. I feel like you're unhappy in your current situation um, with this discontent and boredom. What is this Ten of Wands? I feel like this discontent and boredom is kind of like what you're kind of done with here. What's this Ten of Wands here for Taurus? What's this Ten of Wands for Taurus? Six of Wands, Seven of Cups. Like some of you are just like bored and over your options. It's like it's too much work. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what that, if it's love, I'm just like kind of laughing because it's like, 
I mean, some people don't have any options, right? You guys are sitting here like, I got all these options and like, it's they suck. <laughs> um, but some of you feel like you have to put in so much work for like, it's, it's almost like a for what? Like, I feel like you guys are trying to find your actual soulmate. And it's like you're putting in all this effort or people are giving you a lot of attention, but it's like, it's very unclear as to where things are going. It's, it's not, it doesn't ever really like serve you with the Four of Cups. Like you're just kind of like left disappointed. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. The Hermit. Yeah, you're deciding just to kind of like keep to yourself until like you find something. Yeah, that's like, you're trying to find something that's like passionate for you. Some of you are like also discovering your own passions. What's this fool here with the six of cups? What's this fool, the six of cups? Okay, so there could be somebody coming in in the near future. I feel like you're waiting for somebody, again, like you're waiting for that spark. I feel like you haven't really found that spark. You're waiting for the soulmate here. I feel like there will be somebody coming in here who um, definitely could be a, like a fire sign. But you're wanting a, like a legit offer. Like you're Again, you're wanting a relationship, right? We have the hanged man. It might just be kind of like a standstill. Or are you feeling, again, like you're going to have to wait? There's a, like a, a little bit of a waiting period, almost like a delay before this person comes in here. Yeah, Page of Swords, Four of Cups. You guys are like, just you just don't like your options. You don't like what you see. Um, what's the advice? We have the world. What's the advice? King of Swords. Two of Pentacles, Emperor, Knight of Cups. I almost feel like there's a like a take control of what you want like get clear on what you want as well like get clear and if there's an um if there's something you need to kind of clean up from your past or even just like with past people like close out your other cycles like be very clear with people like hey i'm not just not I'm not, not looking for this kind of thing um so that this other person can come in here Yeah, it's all it's just, it's all a matter of time. I feel like you're just not overly pumped about your decisions or your options, I should say. But I do feel like there is something new coming in towards you. You just have to kind of be patient. It could be a fire sign for some of you. Um, or they exhibit kind of that like fiery passionate, which I kind of feel like is almost what you're looking for a little bit. Like you're looking for that spark in a connection. Uh, so I do feel like it's coming in. It's just that your options currently are not, they're not, you're not feeling them. <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Uh, we're going to move on to Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Throat chakra, number five. So what do you want to say? What's going on for Gemini? The throat chakra is all about expression, right? And you guys are the sign or the house, whatever you kind of, the ruler of communication, right? So um, there could be some communication you're having this weekend. We have the temperance. What does Gemini need to know for the weekend? Gemini for the weekend. Page of Swords. Get one more here for you guys. Knight of Cups. Four of Pentacles here. I almost feel like someone's actually going to come speak to you. I feel like they've almost like been res resisting this. They've been watching you. I feel like they. Um, I feel like they see you as a very balanced individual. I feel like you maybe come across as very patient. 
Um, some of you may have Sagittarius in your chart or you are dealing with a Sag. What's this temperance? Clarify temperance here for Gemini this weekend. Two of swords. Five of swords. Ten of Cups, Chariot. Some of them, like, uh, this is a weird message. I don't know why they would see you this way. But they, like, see you as somebody who's unfazed by a situation. It's like, you're just so calm. Like, you're unfazed by this. <laughs> Whatever that is. And I feel like you're you're just focused on your happiness. You're focused on your Ten of Cups. They also see you as somebody who very much like overcomes obstacles and challenges and challenges very easily, or like it seems very natural to you. You're somebody who's very confident, or you come across as very confident. What's this page of swords? Now this may be how you view another person. What's this page of swords here for Gemini? Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, the star. Somebody like looks up to you. They have a lot of love for you. They look up to you, I feel. It's almost like you're a source of like inspiration for somebody, which is an interesting message. Like some of you really just like speak your truth with the throat chakra. Like people are really... Um, I almost feel like it, there's a specific person who's been watching you. They, they, I think they do have love for you. Like, I do feel like there's a love offer on its way. What's this Knight of Cups for Gemini? Knight of Cups for Gemini. Knight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you've been waiting or they've been waiting to come forward. They do want to offer you some. I feel like they're going to kind of come out of nowhere. I don't really know if you know this person is watching you. It could be a Cancer or a Sag, like a water sign even, just generally. They see, it's almost like they see your potential. Some of them also see, like, if you've gone through a big transformation, it's like they see your, they see the healing work that you've done is also what I'm getting. Some of them are also, like, they're waiting for the right time to come towards you because I feel like there, some of them there could be, like, distance or maybe you don't actually speak to this person. Like, this could just be somebody who watches you from, like, afar. Um, oh, I didn't get any advice for you guys. Let's see what your advice is. Take out those. What is the advice for Gemini this weekend? What's the advice? Lovers. What's the advice for Gemini? Again, it's just like a speak your truth kind of thing. Because the lovers is you guys. Like be yourself. Ace of Wands. Some of you have a decision to make. And the devil. Yeah, some of you have a decision to make. And some of you are also like... Some of you are really working on your passion, something you feel very passionate about, very, um, like keep working on that. If there's something that you've been like really dedicating a lot of time or like putting a lot of energy into, something that you feel like you have to do, do it for some of you. So that's what I have for you, Gemini. Interesting message. <laughs> Let's see what comes up here for Cancer. What's going on for Cancer?
Rejoice in celebration, three of cups. What do we have for cancer this weekend? What do we have for cancer? Three of Swords, the Emperor. I get one more card here for Cancer. Okay, we got two. Knight of Wands, the Devil. What in the heck? I kind of get for some of you, like somebody could be, somebody who, who you feel you have a very strong connection with could be a very sexual connection with, uh, like someone that you're very passionate about could be a fire sign or an earth sign, specifically Aries or Capricorn. This person could be coming back around, like maybe you're having a, like it's like a third party, like a reunion, <laughs> third party. It could be a reunion is what I'm getting. Some of you, it could be a third party since it came out of my mouth, but um, like some of you, you're happy this person's back around. What's this three? It's just three of swords. What's this three of swords for? So a connection got cut off here. Like I feel like a connection ended essentially. Anything else with this Three of Swords? Three of Swords. Anything else for this Three of Swords with Cancer this weekend? Ace of Pentacles. I kind of feel like the person you're dealing with is a little bit controlling. They kind of just like to do whatever the heck they want. I do feel like there could be an offer that comes back around. Like... I feel like some of you are happy about it, but other people, it causes a little bit of conflict for you. I feel like, yeah, this person's definitely coming towards you. They may travel to come see you. I feel like this person sees how, I, th I think they do see you as like marriage material. Um, they, they see you as marriage material and they see you as somebody who looks after themselves, who really takes care of themselves. What, it, like, what is this person doing though? <laughs> Can I write this Knight of Wands? Six of Wands. This person's got a big ego. They're very confident in themselves, but I also feel like they're a little bit controlling. Like they have a very dominant personality with the devil and the emperor there. With the knight of cups reverse. Like I almost feel like they, it's like they tell you what they want you to hear with the Knight of Cups, like they give you a lot of attention for their own benefit. They do see you as somebody who's marriage material, but I don't really know why they play games like this. Why is this person playing games? Yeah, like, I asked why they're playing games, <laughs> not are they. <laughs> This person does want to talk to you. I mean, maybe this time around they want to offer commitment. I think that's for you to figure out. This person, I think, ghosts you a lot. What's, what's the advice for cancer this weekend? This person, I feel, is coming back around. Because they're very strong in your energy. So we have the Magician. Six of Swords. Two of Swords. So kind of what I'm getting from this is like, with the magician, like remember your power, how much strength and power you have in this situation. You have the ability to make the decision that you feel is right for you. 
Um, with the Six of Swords and the Two of Swords, I feel like this is like you have the decision to block this person out of your life or you have the decision to move forward with this person in a calm and collected way. The choice is yours. Um, some of you, I feel like this person does want to possibly rebuild with you. You have to figure out if you want to invest in this emotionally. I think that's that's kind of like your advice is to figure out what it like if this person does come back around or whoever this person is. One, are they serious? Two, is this something you want to invest in? Can you trust this person? Right? Some of you might not be able to trust this person. You may feel like they're trying to manipulate you, but I feel like you got to go with your gut feeling on this person. So yeah, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I don't know who that was for, but I feel like this person, there is some sort of like reunion coming back around. Some of you, they they maybe now realize, but they, they still got some like some of their typical tendencies. I don't really see that they've changed much. All right, moving on to Leo. Let's see what Leo has got going on for the weekend, my fellow Leos. What's going on? Okay, you guys are getting two. We have accelerated motion, number eight, and we have choose wisely, number seven. So you're going somewhere fast. <laughs> I don't know where, but you're going somewhere fast. I just want to switch these around. There's a couple reversed cards here. I feel like you guys are, are moving forward in something, but you need to make sure you, um, I think there's like, Spirit's just highlighting like, make sure you've thought about your decision before you move forward. Like don't make any impulsive decisions here. Um, is kind of mainly what I get from that. Also for some of you, if you're moving forward in a relationship, make sure you choose wisely. <laughs> Or if you're wanting to move forward with somebody. Okay, I think that's pretty much. There was only a couple that flipped, but okay. All right, Leo. What does Leo need to know? Four of swords. Yeah, think about it. Think about it. Take the time to make the right decision. What does Leo need to know? Some of you are literally thinking of like traveling or moving something or yeah. Traveling or moving, you need to think before you do it. Ten of Pentacles. So four of swords, ten of pentacles. Seven of swords, queen of pentacles. Bottom of the deck, six of swords. Yeah, again, um, Sorry, uh, I don't know if I said this right. Seven of Swords, Queen of Pentacles. The So a lot of you just need to make sure you're making the right decision for you is kind of what I feel like. I feel like that's what this Seven of Swords is. is like, do what's right for you. You don't have to worry about other people. Some of you, it's with regards to your finances. Like if there's a career or a job thing that you're kind of looking at, something that you can make money at, you need to do what's right for you move forward and how you feel what you feel is right for you regardless i feel like that's the, co the the case same thing in relationships like if you are trying to choose a partner you need to choose someone who's right for you not the person that people think you should date if that makes any sense um six of swords here at the bottom i feel like definitely you guys could be moving somewhere or going somewhere um what's this this is ten of pentacles here for leo Page of Cups. So there could be a love offer. Tell me more about this Ten of Pentacles here. Or an apology. We have the Three of Cups. I feel like you guys have also been doing like a lot of healing work. Okay, what is this Ten of Pentacles? Give me one more card here on this Ten of Pentacles. King of Swords. I kind of do feel like this is with regards to a relationship. I almost feel like somebody may have an apology. They they want to speak some truth in something here when they come back around. 
Um, they may want to give to this situation a little bit more than they have in the past. Um, I feel like there was something that was like blocking them from being able to do that. But I also feel like they know what that is. What's this Seven of Swords with the Queen of Pentacles here? For Leo, what's this Seven of Swords? Some of you don't trust this person. Eight of Swords with the, the Three of Pentacles. Like, you don't know if you want to build this. Some of you are really just focused on your career. And again, if you're focused on money, like, I feel like keep things to yourself. Nurture yourself. Do what's right for you. But some of you definitely don't. I feel like you don't trust this person. Yeah, Queen of Cups with the Devil. Ace of Pentacles. Like some of you, there's definitely like codependency here. I feel like Spirit's trying to highlight, like make sure you make the right decision, like really get clear on, you know, this offer, this person before you move forward. Don't rush into it. I feel like this person, um, you feel very drawn and connected to this person, but you always want to give to them right away. Like they come in with the page of cups and you're like, bam, ace of pentacles. Um, so I feel like you just need to be, be cautious of the choice forward that you make is kind of, I feel, what's this devil? What's this devil? Temperance. All right, that's good. I think you're almost like shedding some light on the fact that this is codependent. Someone might not like that. Or like you're shedding some light on the fact that like it can't continue the way it is. Like this is deceptive. We can't do this. We can't build this way. How are we supposed to build this way kind of thing? Give me the uh, king of swords here. Yeah, this person wants to, to s tell you the truth about something. I feel like something has ended. May, they may tell you that they ended a relationship or they were in a relationship and that's over. What's, what's the advice for Leo? What's the advice for Leo here? What's interesting is there's absolutely no fire signs out here. We have the Knight of Swords. We Knight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Four of Cups. Some of you are rejecting this person. You need to communicate or you are communicating that it's over. Be very clear. But also don't make an impulsive decision. Like don't, don't make an, impul an impulsive decision to end something from a place of being upset or hurt by this. Um... Because I feel like this is you because we have the Leo card now with the sun at the bottom. You may like impulsively like ditch this person, but I feel like, again, choose wise wisely, right? Don't make an impulsive decision. Think about it. Right? So just communicate maybe. Maybe communicate that like, you know what, I need to think about this or I need some time. You know, don't be afraid to do that because I do feel like there's like a lack of trust. So there's like a, there's like a quick impulse to like want to cut this person off. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully that was helpful. Moving on to Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Virgo. We have spiritual union number two, which is the two of cups. All right. What's going on for Virgo here? Virgo, what do they need to know for the weekend? The sun, the king of cups, the five of wands, six 
Six of Pentacles, the Star, and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody wants to heal conflict with you, Virgo. They want to rebuild this. Yeah, they want to have a happily ever after. So if you had some sort of drama or conflict with somebody, they want to heal this with you. They want to balance things back out. They want to heal things with you. They want to work on things with you. It could be connected to a water sign. This is five of wands. We have the ace of wands. Seven of cups. Justice. Yeah, they want to balance this out. This, this relationship, they want to balance this out. Somebody could have been like looking at other options here. Somebody could have left their options open. This person's now realizing they don't want to do that anymore. Um, I feel like something happened. I feel like some of you were in a relationship with this person. Somebody you, of you weren't. We have the fool here. Yeah, like somebody was acting dumb. I feel like somebody was being a fool. And they know that with the king of swords tell me about this king of cups for virgo so i feel like you might kind of like heal or balance out a connection that you have with somebody this weekend like something might i feel like something almost like comes to light here and it causes some drama we have the two of pentacles. Yeah, like somebody could have been juggling here. And I don't know if you were actually in a relationship with this person or if uh, this is just someone you were dealing with. I feel like they were giving to, to more than one person here. And you maybe found that out. Anything more with this king of cups? Queen of pentacles. That's you. Yeah, three of cups. King of pentacles. Yeah, like you guys found out there was other people. And for others of you, maybe you had the other person. Like maybe, because we do have the king and the queen of pentacles here. So like somebody had another person. Whoever that is wants to make things right. They want to work on things here. What's the advice for Virgo? This is a really straightforward message. What's the advice for Virgo this weekend? What's the advice? Seven of swords judgment what's the seven of swords nine of wands page of swords you got to make a decision here if you want to continue to put in the effort don't i feel like for a lot of you you need to stop playing games but you need to decide if you're going to continue to put the, the effort in here If you don't continue to put the effort in, it's going to fall apart. What's the Seven of Swords here in the advice for Virgo? Five of Cups. Yeah, you play games, you're going to lose. So I don't know who this is for. Maybe this, I mean, this could be, I don't know. If there's like cheating, manipulation, it's like that's hurt you, but you have to decide whether you have are going to continue to put the effort in here. I feel like you guys are kind of conflicted about it. Some of you, you are doing the one, you are the one stepping outside a relationship. And so if that's the case, then um, if that's the case, then I feel like, again, like you play games, you're going to lose out. So I don't know who this is for, but <laughs> it could go either way. I'm kind of seeing it both ways. Like it's either you or this person, but I feel like regardless, like there's some sort of deception here that's hurting somebody and it doesn't feel very good. And there's going to be a judgment call. This, this relationship is at a crossroads here because somebody stepped outside the relationship is what I am getting. So it's up to you, that judgment call, or the other person, whoever it's for. <laughs> All right, moving on to Libra. 
Let's see. Libra. We have Triumph, number seven, which is the Chariot card. What else does Libra need to know for the weekend? We have the Empress, you guys. Love it. Two of Swords. One more here for Libra. Page of Penta or sorry, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Wands. Ace of Swords at the bottom. So I feel like uh, generally you guys have a decision possibly to make or you're not maybe sure which way to go, which way is the best decision to to be successful, to have to be triumphant. Um I feel like regardless, whatever you choose, I feel like you will make the right decision for yourself with the three of wands here. Like I feel you may, it may take a little while, but I feel like you will get what you're looking for. You will, will have that growth and expansion. Again, I do see you guys making a decision possibly about something. What's this two of swords about? What's this decision here? What's this decision about here with the two of swords? Yeah, Ace of Swords. What's this Two of Swords about? Like somebody, some of you all of a sudden get very clear in what direction to go. If you feel blocked, I feel like there's going to be some clarity coming in for you here. Yeah, it's almost like your intuition was blocked, but I feel like that's kind of over. Like I feel like uh, you're overcoming an, an ending here, and I feel like you're moving forward in a new direction. You'd get clarity on which direction to move in, uh, which it's like you kind of like overcome this situation here. It's like you find your strength and your power again. It's like when you can get clear, I think that's when the change comes in here for you guys. What's this three of wands? I feel like you guys are leveling up. You're definitely be being very successful. I feel like your money looks really good too. It's very like consistent and it's uh, like you are abundant. So some of you have a King of Pentacles coming towards you. Tell me more about this Three of Wands and the King of Pentacles. Yeah, Magician, Knight of Wands. You guys have manifested this person. They are coming towards you. So if you're, if you're looking for a relationship, then um, definitely I feel someone is coming in towards you somebody who's stable and also has their money in order but they're also not super boring because <laughs> uh, i've seen some readers talk about how the king of pentacles is, can be kind of boring because they just kind of chill they don't take a lot of action they're just like they just are who they are right but i feel like this person has like a little bit of a fun side to them now for others of you i feel like um this may be I think this is you, like you reaching a level, like maybe leveling up from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Again, like having that growth and expansion in your life, feeling triumphant, feeling in control and powerful um, in the decisions that you make um, with how you move forward. So I feel like I feel like the direction that you guys are trying to go in is going to work out for you here. I feel like you are going to be successful in whatever it is that you're you're trying to achieve. What's the advice here for Libra? Let's see advice here for Libra. Two of Pentacles, the Hanged Man. Take your time to choose. Balance out your energies. Some of you may need to look at things from a different perspective. Really weigh your options. Any more advice? Lovers, Ace of Cups, King of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, there's definitely new love coming in. 
others of you are just like choosing like make sure when you make a choice choose something that feels good to you it's something you care about it's something you're passionate about it's something you want to take action towards because like some of you it's creative it's inspiring do what feels right don't choose something just because you feel you should so really make sure you take the time to make the right choice here um, because I feel like if you go towards what you love and what you have passion for, then, it, I mean, you're definitely going to be triumphant because you're going to want to um, continue to move forward in it. You're going to enjoy it. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Moving on <clears throat> to Scorpio. I am going to grab just some water here. All right. Scorpio. Let's see. <clears throat> what do we have for Scorpio here? We have number six moving on. This is like the uh, six of swords, I think. All right. Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know for the weekend? Three of Cups. I'm picking up some of you. It's a friend group or a group of people you're moving on from. Maybe you're leaving a situation with the Queen of Wands. One more for Scorpio. It's the star. Bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So there's big changes I feel happening just generally in your life. Um, I feel like some people could be shocked by the fact that you're moving forward in something. I kind of almost feel like for some of you, you're moving forward to be like in the spotlight. Like you, you could be getting a lot of attention or people are really noticing you. I feel like people are noticing you because you look really good. Some of you may have a community or you've built a community. What's this Three of Cups? Others of you, I see you moving, like leaving a group of people and like going out on your own. Queen of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, like some of you, I feel, have kind of like cut these people off or you've left this situation. That's kind of like what you're moving on from. What's this Queen of Wands? Also from a relationship standpoint, a lot of you are done with like third party energies, whether that's people, work, money, whatever it is, whatever the third parties are. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. So you guys are loving yourself. You're nurturing yourself. Um, I feel like I feel like because of that you look really attractive to people like people are really noticing you and I feel like some of you are really no there's some of them are really noticing like your glow up like some of you have really been working on your happiness really connecting to yourself what's the star energy here for Scorpio I'm not really getting that like it's a lot of other people I feel like you're leaving people but you're kind of more on your own now What's the star here for Scorpio? Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Okay, so there, there may be a person here with the King of Wands that maybe is noticing you. Um, like sees you maybe as a wish fulfillment. I don't really know if they're taking action right now, but they will be in the future. There's somebody watching you. They're interested in you, I feel. Um, for others of you, this is you just like making steady progress forward. I see you moving forward. What's this Knight of Pentacles for Scorpio? What's this Knight of Pentacles here? What's this Knight of Pentacles here for Scorpio?
Nine of Wands, Knight of Cups. Yeah, you're determined to reach your goals. So some of you have a, a dream that you're not giving up on, that you continue to put effort and energy into. You're, you're kind of like almost preserving with the Four of Pentacles. You're preserving your energy um, so that you can continue pursuing what it is that you want to achieve. Like a lot of you aren't giving up. You're, it, there's something about your purpose and your passion that you guys are working towards. And I feel like you had to move on from a group of people here because it just wasn't getting you where you needed to be. They may have been upset about that with the Knight of Swords is what I'm getting for some of you, but I mean, I mean, it is what it is, right? Um, what is the advice for Scorpio this weekend? King of Cups, Four of Swords, Two of Pentacles. So just keep, keep your energy grounded and balanced here. Um, I feel is like, just keep focusing on yourself keep doing your thing because I feel like um, you guys are going to be successful you're going to move forward here there's continual movement forward you just got to keep keep focusing on yourself I think you guys are doing really good I don't really see anything like you know negative I feel like you could you definitely could have left some especially around the full moon right a lot of things close out around the full moon so I feel like you guys are just kind of doing your thing and uh, people are noticing maybe some people are jealous but Oh well. <laughs> All right. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. We're going to move on to Sagittarius. Let's see. Oh, Sag. I feel like there's something right in here. Wisdom, number five. This is like the Hierophant. All right, what does Sag need to know? Eight of Cups. What does Sagittarius need to know? Messages for Sag with the tower. Can I get one more here for Sag, please. One more for Sagittarius, please. Or not. <laughs> I feel like you guys are moving on here from something um, all of a sudden. You may gain some sort of wisdom or some sort of information here. Okay, I'm just going to pull a card. <coughs> we have Temperance, Eight of Swords. I feel like... Um, I kind of feel like you guys are releasing yourselves from something. You're gaining some enlightenment, some wisdom in a situation, like you're learning something from walking away or you're learning about something and which is cho why you're choosing to walk away. What's this Eight of Cups for Sag? Two of Wands, Three of Swords, Page of Cups. Yeah, you guys are moving away from like somebody who maybe kind of played with your heart a little bit here. I feel like you're moving in a new direction. You're, you're kind of walking away. You're having the strength to move on. I feel like this is a not the, the easiest decision for you guys to make. What's the tower here for, for Sag? Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Taurus. So we have the uh, Magician and the Knight of Wands. I feel like you guys realized your power all of a sudden, like how much control you really had. Also, I feel like, cause it kind of came out in reverse. It's like, you guys took the control away from this other person when you walked away, which I think kind of shook them up a little bit. Like they weren't expecting you to do that. Um, for some of you, you like played them at their own game kind of thing. With the justice here, I feel like you, it was like almost like a karmic justice. Anything with else with this tower here for Sag? Anything else? 
around this tower. Seven of Cups and Justice. Yeah, again, I like you're receiving justice and I actually think you're going to get a lot more options. There's going to be a lot of opportunities that open up because you did what you did. What's the temperance here for, for Sag this weekend? Four of Wands. So some of you are going to you're going to feel more balanced in your own life, more stable in your own life, but some of you could also be entering a, like a new relationship in the near future here that uh, is more balanced and stable. Tell me more about this temperance here for Sag. Five of Wands. Yeah, like you're kind of balancing out the energies again. Some of you are really like nurturing yourself. You're looking after yourself. You're looking after like household things too, like mundane 3D world type stuff. Um, anything else with temperance? Yeah, strength. You're just gaining your strength back after an ending here. So what's the advice for Sag this weekend? What's the advice for Sag this weekend? Wheel of Fortune, High Priestess, and the Two of Cups. I feel like for some of you, there's definitely like a spiritual enlightenment or like you and your higher self are in connection here. Uh, you have made a choice that serves your higher self as well, um, which therefore you're going to reap the rewards for with the um, Wheel of Fortune. I do feel like good things. Some of you, there's like a more spiritual connection coming in towards you. So... I feel like a lot of you know this. You can feel it. Yeah, we have the Empress. Lots of growth and expansion that it's going to be coming into you guys because you you did what was right. Um, and I feel like you almost like you spiritually like leveled up. And I feel like um, I feel like saying your higher self is thanking you because you you did what was right in this situation. So good for you guys. Always nice to see. All right, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for Capricorn. I like all of a sudden got super tired. <laughs> my eyes are like, I'm, this is it's nighttime when I'm doing this, but my eyes are just like so heavy right now. All right, Capricorn, what's going on for you guys? Transformation, number 13. So the death card. All right, Capricorn. Got some Capricorn moons, Capricorn risings. I've seen you guys posting. <laughs> All right. So we have four of cups, ace of cups, page of cups, hanged man. All right, opportunity and love. I feel like you guys have been, you guys are really working on yourself. I feel like you guys have been going through a transformation. You're very consciously aware of it. Um, I do feel like there's an offer coming in here. I kind of feel like there could be a few, truthfully. I feel like regardless though, you guys are like spiritually, like there's some sort of like spiritual enlightenment happening just generally in your life. What's this? Uh, okay. I'm going to take these three. So we have the King of Swords, the Lovers, and the Fool. So some of you know that you want to move forward in a new connection here. And then we have the Empress, the Moon, and the Seven of Wands. So you guys are really kind of like creating boundaries um, as well. You guys are really, um, I feel like you're getting ready for the real deal here. I feel like you guys have like leveled up and like with the moon, I feel like that was almost like, I feel like it's been kind of more recently. What's this four of cups here? Like, I feel like it could have been around the full moon. 
or you've been working with the moon cycles. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, which is clarified by the Emperor and the Nine of Cups. So there's an offer coming in here, a wish fulfillment. Some of you are still in your head about another person. What's this Ace of Cups here? Seven of Cups, you don't know. You're confused around the situation. What's the Page of Cups? I am getting some of you have a lot of options here. Eight of Cups, okay. So there's, there's a person coming in here that you maybe don't see coming. You don't really know which direction you want to go in love. I feel like you guys know what you want, but I feel like option wise, maybe you're a little bit not sure. I do feel like there's a person here that could be coming back around that you maybe walked away from or they walked away from you that could be offering up some sort of an apology that somebody was blocked or there was no communication here between the two of you. I kind of feel like the, the, your person is coming. What's this hanged man? Clarify the hanged man here for Capricorn. Four of swords, king of cups, page of wands, eight of wands. Yeah, this person is still doing some healing work before they come forward to you. Some of you are rejecting other offers because you're waiting for like the one. What's this emperor here in Capricorn's energy? Yeah, four of wands, five of cups, temperance. Like some of you are needing to be patient here. Some of you are upset that this isn't here yet. You're like discontent with all your other options because it's like not the one you want. I do feel like, um, what's this four of swords? I feel like this like person who's going to be coming in and communicating with you, it's just a little s stagnant, it's delayed. We have the strength. Somebody's trying to muster up the strength to be able to come forward, but it, it's going to take some time. So I feel like in the meantime, you're kind of just like looking at your options, walking away from a few people, but like not s super thrilled. Uh, what's the advice for Capricorn this weekend? Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Two of Swords, Three of Wands. So try not to get too caught up in like what's ahead. Like try not to think too far into the future. Um, I feel like you guys are going through a big change. I feel like the person that possibly is coming in towards you, some of them have like, they're having an upset in a relationship here. They could be going through like a breakup or something. I don't even know if you know this person, but I feel like for the most part, your advice is just like focus on yourself and don't think of like what you can control right now and not so much what is in the future here. We have the star. So you guys are healing. Healing after like changes and transformation. So overall, I feel like it's really good for you guys. I just feel like you're kind of in this like little bit of a limbo state. You know you don't want to go back to the past, um, but you're also like, where is my person? <laughs> Which I can totally understand that. I'm with you. All right. So moving on to Aquarius. What's going on for Aquarius here? In or on the weekend. We have power number eight, which is the strength card. All right. Aquarius, which is also Leo energy, which is your opposite sign. We have the queen of swords, seven of pentacles. Aquarius, what do they need to know? Ace of Wands. Knight of Cups. There's something you're trying to figure out. Um, you're trying to get clear on whether you want to invest or put energy into something that's something new, I feel. Possibly love. Or like a person. Um, I 
I feel like you're very in control of the situation. With this power energy and the Queen of Swords, like I feel like you're very... What's this Queen of Swords? Yeah, like you're in control. King of Swords, Ten of Swords, Strength, and the Emperor. You guys have clearly, very clearly, you cut something off. I feel like there was some sort of ending, but it, it, it was challenging for you, but I feel like you overcame it. Um, and now it's like you're just kind of in boss mode, I feel. You're ready to move forward in love. What's this Seven of Pentacles here for Aquarius? There's that Leo energy again. Five of Swords. Five of Wands. So some struggle and some conflict. It's almost like your ego is getting in the way of like knowing how to move forward or like progressing forward with the Empress and the Star. So there's a lot of change also that's happening in your life and I feel like that may cause some confusion as to where to invest your time and your energy but I feel like I feel like you need to invest your time and your energy into yourself. And some of you have been overcoming a lot as you kind of gain your power here. What's this Ace of Wands here for Aquarius? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. So you're looking for something that you can build or someone you can build with. One more here on this Ace of Wands here. What is this Ace of Wands? Ace of Wands. Seven of Cups. So you're done with the confusion. Um... Like some of you are definitely looking at your options. I feel like maybe with the Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, you have a couple options that you're wanting to kind of explore here. Again, you're in control. You have the power to make the decisions that you want. Um, I feel like choose the one that's more passionate, that, that you have a lot of passion, desire for. I feel like some of you just have a lot of options. You're very like, you very much enjoy learning a lot of different things. But you are going to get clear on wh where you want to go here. Seven of Cups here. What's this Seven of Cups? Seven of Cups, please. For Aquarius. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so tired. My hands aren't working. We have the three of wands. Yeah, it's like, I think it's just more the direction or like where to put your efforts with the king of, or the knight of wands at the bottom. So it's like where to put your efforts because I feel like you've got a lot of new things happening. You guys are like leveling up. I feel like you guys are coming more into alignment with yourself as well. Um, with the emperor and the empress and the star, like I feel like you guys are coming into alignment. So you're you're blending your masculine and feminine energies. So therefore you're able to step into your power because you can harness both equally. What's the advice for Aquarius? Page of cups, two of swords. Page of wands, the devil. We have the four of cups here. Uh, don't don't close yourself off from opportunities or people also collaboration like don't don't close yourself off from collaboration but some of you definitely could be closing yourself off from new opportunities if you're focused I don't know it's like your focus could be a little scattered right now with that seven of cups like you may have a lot of options and so just be cautious as to who you're closing yourself off to some of you are closing yourself off to love and like passion so like if you guys are I feel like some of you are maybe closing yourself off to romance but you're definitely kind of like rejecting certain offers I feel like your advice would be to like look look more clearly at your options here I feel like there's two people anything else for the advice with regards to that for Aquarius 
And remember that you're in control. Especially with that devil energy, you guys are you guys have the power and the control to make the right decisions. Yeah, judgment. Choose something that's in alignment with you and your higher self. Choose what's right for you. Don't let other people tell you what to do. You have the control and the power. So remember that. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, Pisces. Pisces, Pisces. All right. What is happening for Pisces? We have light, number 19, this is the sun. All right, so some light could be being shed on something or you're just standing in your light, your power with the nine of pentacles. Pisces, king of pentacles. Something can also be like highlighted or illuminated for you guys this weekend. Pisces, the emperor. <laughs> we have the king of wands here at the bottom. I kind of feel like this is all of your energy. You guys are like stepping into the light. It's like you're kind of like bossing up. You guys are definitely in control. A lot of like Taurus energy here with these two cards, Taurus, I'm getting Virgo as well, Aries. You guys are very confident for sure, very confident, very independent. What's this Nine of Pentacles here? I just had deja vu, that's so weird. I don't know what that means. <laughs> If anyone knows what deja vu during a tarot reading means, let me know. Um, what's this nine of pentacles here? Also, I like literally am so tired right now. That's so funny. Okay, uh, nine of pentacles. Yeah, empress, four of swords. You guys have done a lot of healing work on yourself. You guys have bossed up. Um, I also feel like you guys are still actively working on leveling yourself up because the nine of pentacles is pre-empress energy. So you guys are like trying to get yourself to another level. Um... I feel like there's there could be a person that comes in towards you too if you're if you're single. What's this King of Pentacles? I feel like these are connected somehow, the King and the Emperor. Five of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Swords, the Star. Okay, we have the I'm gonna take that the high priestess. What's the Emperor here? Eight of Cups, Ace of Wands. Tell me more about this Emperor. Give me one more on this Emperor or Pisces. So definitely I feel like you guys could be like... Okay, so this is the story that I have. <laughs> you have been focusing on yourself. You've been leveling up. You've been like growing yourself you've been working on your finances your career just like your appearance like whatever it is that you've been focusing on healing and working through you guys have, have been doing that work that's wonderful uh this king of pentacles i almost feel was a person who that i feel like this king of pentacles and this emperor are the same person um i feel like there could have been a lot of like deception and conflict in this relationship, I feel like maybe there's some sort of karmic cycle that you are in with this person. Um, I feel like this relationship is headed to a better place. I feel like this person has changed. I feel like this person has leveled up beyond the King of Pentacles to the Emperor. And I feel like they've changed their ways here with these cards, uh, with the Star and the High Priestess. Very spiritual. I feel like this person has leveled up spiritually. They've They've done a lot of healing work. They've done a lot of growth. Um, and I think, 
there's definitely a strong connection. I don't really feel like for some of you, you haven't spoken to this person for a little while. You did walk away from them or they walked away from you, but you've manifested them back into your life. And I feel like it's because you both are now like the divine masculine, the divine, divine feminine. You guys have both leveled yourselves up here. And so now with this emperor, we, clarifying it, we have the eight of cups, the ace of wands, the magician. You've manifested this person back into your life and they've manifested you back into their life because you guys are now on the same vibration. You guys are vibrating at the, sa at the same frequency. Like you both had <laughs> glow ups. Like you both really kind of are in your highest vibration now with that sun card. And that's why I feel like this can come together. Um, it's like you grew separately and now you can kind of come back around. So this, this doesn't even have to be somebody who, I feel like you maybe had some sort of a romantic relationship with. It's definitely somebody from your past. I don't really know if it worked out in the past. Like there's definitely some sort of like karma, but this is like a situation where you both ended up doing the work. A lot of times what happens in relationships, especially karmic ones, it's like one person does the work and evolves and the other person just stays where they are and then you just grow apart and everybody moves on, right? Um, but I feel like you both actually did the work here. Yeah, Ten of Wands, you guys put the work in. You guys put a lot of effort in individually. So what's the advice for Pisces here? What's the advice for Pisces here? Any advice for Pisces this weekend? Now, with that being said, I don't really know if this person, I'm trying to see if there, there's not really any action cards in the sense of them physically moving towards you, but there may be communication. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands, Queen of Swords, Strength, I feel like it's like you're almost there. Keep working is kind of your energy or your, your advice here. You're almost there. Keep working. You're, you know, you're coming to the, cl the end of a cycle here. You're, you've almost reached your goal. You know, keep, keep your eye on the prize a little bit here. Any more advice for Pisces? Like, I feel like it's just keep doing what you're doing because I feel like you're doing what you need to be doing. Any more advice for Pisces? Yeah, nurture yourself. Look after yourself. Queen of Pentacles. What you are wanting is going to be coming in towards you here, so you don't have to worry about that. Again, some of you have been trying to manifest. Uh, some of you, it's just even a partner. Like, it could just be a counterpart. It could be somebody brand new with the Ace of Wands and the Magician. But with the Eight of Cups, it's like, I feel like some, for some of you, it's definitely somebody who has, like, leveled themselves up. And um, you guys now match. You guys are on the same vibration. So that's what I have for you guys. I hopefully that's helpful. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful Easter. Um, I will be posting a pick a card Saturday, so tomorrow. And then also um, I will be posting a probably an all signs reading on the weekend, like on Sunday. Um, and then I'm going to post the new moon reading like later in the week because it's kind of far away. So. Um, but yeah, I haven't really figured that out. So I, there may be an all signs reading on Sunday as well. So keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.